I'm on CNN right now. This isn't clickbait or a bit. I'll link the fucking article in the description and try to find an archived article in case they take it down. CNN runs a daily article called Five Things, which is a recap of five important stories that they think you should know. For February 28th, their five stories had to do with Ukraine, the climate crisis, coronavirus, the State of the Union address, and North Korea. Five very important things to know. But, at the end, they usually put a light-hearted piece of fare to make you feel a little better about all that horrible, depressing shit that you just read. And well, some intern at CNN is probably going to be looking for a career adjustment because they wanted the audience to learn how bread is made. And they chose my video. I am now a master of parody writing. I am in an echelon Tears above my peers. You can look at my achievements and crown me as the greatest satire writer who has ever lived. I have made it to CNN, which proves one of three things. Number one, CNN doesn't have enough time to watch a five minute video to see whether or not it's legitimate on an article that they run every single day. Number two, someone at CNN is a fan of my work and doesn't give a shit about their job anymore. Or number three, CNN is too dumb to know what satire is. Well, based on the comments, their audience probably believes that. Soccer moms. Pissed off soccer moms as far as the eye can see. And boomers raging about God knows what. Jesus fuck, I hate old people. I'm not a political channel, I swear to God. I know that I recently did a video making fun of a girl talking about the president and I've talked about, like, capital punishment. But it's all for entertainment. I don't give a shit about mainstream news. I'm not trying to do this shit, but it just keeps happening. I, just, I don't know how this slipped by people. This is the episode where very early on I mentioned the bread pisses on itself and it's made by a machine called the Batter Bitch Slapper. Oh, come on. Arguably, the intro is tame enough to slip through, but you gotta at least raise an eyebrow by the phrase at 42 seconds. I'd like to think somewhere in the listicle there's a note about avoiding misinformation, and they put this video in on purpose to reinforce that. No. 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 Avoiding misinformation. Who in the fuck believes that bread urinates on itself? It's so obvious. I make these videos and I never understand how anyone thinks they're real. Yes, initially the whole point is to trick you. But when I'm talking about the fact that shit is made from cocaine and like the factory workers are borderline slaves. Okay, that one's real depending on the country, but how? No! CNN is not a clever mind puzzle that's trying to hit you with a fourth dimensional information war attack. Someone wasn't paying attention. This one's actually pretty lighthearted and even sweet. This was quite entertaining, but it should really come with a PG rating. JK, I lulled at lot. Oh, thank you, Gnan Can 2. People that saw this on CNN, this is satire. Okay, Nathan, why you gotta ruin it for everybody? Come on. Let the news article readers think for themselves for once. Isn't that the point of news? It takes approximately 34 seconds of watching for a viewer to realize this video is a parody. CNN did not meet that time limit. Multigrain bread is made from several ingredients such as flaxseed, buckwheat, soy, and multigrain bread is what I said at 21 seconds. Guys, I want to stop you. It takes zero seconds to realize it's a parody. How it's actually made by a random channel with my fucking face on it. Not the Science Channel, not Discovery, not even a company or re-uploader, just me with my big dumb grin. Context clues go a long way. I'm here from CNN, pretty sure this isn't how bread is made. Do you want an interview? Do you want to do a special report on this? Am I going to break national headlines? There's a lot going on in the world, but hey, maybe our bread's being fucked with. Really horrible commentary. Well, that's a really horrible comment. It's not constructive or informative in any way. So I guess we're at a standstill. But you got five likes, so I'll go fuck myself. Interesting video. Awful disgusting commentary. Surprised that CNN used it as their video of the day. Perhaps they watched the video on mute. Very disturbing. Paul? It's not real, Paul. Paul, do you watch horror movies and think the boogeyman's actually gonna get you? Do you lock your windows at night because you think Jason Voorhees isn't strong enough to open them? 
Do you go out on Halloween and lift up everyone's mask and go, Oh, thank God, you're not a real ghost. Oh, woo, I thought you were actually the Joker, but it's just a costume. Oh, thank goodness. So we need to keep comments respectful per community guidelines. Oh, be I better stand the fuck back. Curtis's comments are too raw for YouTube. They're too much. They're too deep in the shit. They're too hurtful. Curtis has an itinerary of insults lined up that would make Shakespeare quiver. That'll strike me at my very poetic soul. Come on, Curtis, show me mercy, please. Please, no, Curtis! This wasn't worth even a minute of my time. Childish and immature, but definitely not for children. Robin, did you just call yourself a child? The video is not for children, as you definitely stated, but you also said it's not worth your time. Therefore, you just called yourself a child. Now, I don't debate with children on the internet, Robin. I make videos for them and then make money off the ads they watch. Disgusting. Okay, Maureen. How bread is made is not that disgusting. I made videos on sausage, bacon, other topics. You don't have to be disgusted. Or do you find humor disgusting? Are you, are you one of those, like, old, cranky Ebenezer Scrooge types? Are you the grandma that comes to Thanksgiving and everyone's like, Oh, sweet Jesus, it's Grandma Maureen. She's here to tell us about how things were better back in the 30s and how we don't respect things and how Tic Tac isn't funny anymore. Could have been funny with the right narrator. Not this goof. Who would you recommend to read my own script that I wrote with my own delivery and intonations in mind? Morgan Freeman? Because that'd be great. And Morgan, if you're watching, for the love of God, do an episode. That'd be awesome. So I make bread. Realize this is commercial bread. I have never seen a worse example of trying to explain how something comes into being and the quips went from unnecessary to off color to stupid and kept on going. This is not funny. It is stupid. Oh, fuck me. Edward makes bread, everybody. Qualified expert on any and all comedic and video creation elements. He makes bread. I cannot stand up to a man who makes his own goddamn bread. I feel emasculated. I'm going to cry. I might shit my pants. Hang on a minute. Hang on. You fucked up now, Edward. So I'm a bit of a cook myself. I cook things. I like cooking dinner. You can tell that I'm a cook because I have a Chinese knockoff cookbook that says Let's Cooking on the cover. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this, Edward? Is that a recipe for Japanese milk bread in my girlfriend's lovely handwriting because I write like a fourth grader? Why, yes. Yes, it is, Edward. I make bread too. Okay? So we're on equal footing. And you know something? You don't seem very nice. I said it. There, I said it. Now maybe Edward's a bit more qualified than I am. Maybe he's got a PhD in breadology. Maybe he studied the stars and alignments of the breadstraverse. Because he was able to also realize that this is commercial bread. Ooh, look out. It's commercial bread. You know that thing that's perfectly fine to eat? and tastes good, and is convenient, and cheap, and found everywhere? Not everyone wants to spend two plus hours baking their own fucking bread, Edward. From one man who makes bread to another, shut the fuck up. I find video interesting, but could do without the sarcastic, ridiculous dialogue. I find your grammar abhorrent, and your sense of humor boring. Uh, nice to see the process. However, parts of the narration are not appropriate for use in educating young children. It's a shame. Yeah, Yvonne, it's a shame that things have to be funny. It's a shame that things can be entertaining. It's a shame that you couldn't Google your own shit for three seconds and find the original. It's a shame you couldn't proof read and fact check your shit. You know what, let's do, let's do a little experiment. Okay, so I typed in how it's made bread, and I'm not even the first result. It, I'm the second under the actual how it's made video. You know, the real one. Followed by two more that are re-uploads. You had a one out of four chance of getting this right if you just did your own homework, Yvonne. A terrible commentary. A vulgar attempt at humor. Mike, what sense of humor do you have besides probably nothing? Very funny video. Enjoyed. Thank you, Julie. That's very nice, thank you. 
I was under the impression that anyone who made a YouTube account using their legal first and last name alongside a picture of themselves was a humorless asshole over the age of 60 at minimum. But you've changed my view of everything, Julie. Interesting story, but the narrator's comments are not really funny or necessary. So the story that I wrote that's a parody of how bread is made is interesting, but my comments are not funny. I'm so confused by that. Interesting story. Do you mean the news article that this video is linked on, which is highly and completely unrelated because my video is linked as a feel-good moment towards the end? Or do you mean the story that I crafted of the meta-narrative of how bread is made is interesting, but you don't like the fact that I'm talking and speaking in it? What? The narrator makes some weird comments. Otherwise, interesting. How long do you think these people watch this before... I, I'm, I'm just perplexed by this. If I make weird comments, how long until they go, well, I'm going to stop watching? Like, they say it's interesting, but I'm not at all speaking of the process by a certain point. The whole point is that after a certain marker, I'm not even remotely talking about what's actually going on. So does she think that, like, this is real? But I'm throwing in a joke here and there? Ah, uh, yes, the bread truly does piss on itself there. Although that joke about him needing a divorce lawyer was too far. Totally inappropriate comments made during the video. Not for children. So the video is linked on CNN. So Deborah is insinuating that CNN is for children. Go ahead and fight in the comments section over that one. I'm not elaborating. Good video, but could really do without the horrible attempts at humor. Cheryl's the kind of person to put a cat poster in her cubicle and unironically laugh at it when she comes in on Mondays. Could have been good. Most poorly written narration ever. The extended metaphors lose their power and leave a bad taste it the mouth. Footage is great. Watch with the sound off. I'm gonna sound off on you right now, Bob Shomper. Number one, I like your name. It's fun to say and I enjoy it. Number two, Mr. Bob Shomper, poorly written. Damn, dude. Okay, look, I understand if my videos and humor and incredibly subtle wit is not to your taste. It's not for everyone, I'll admit. You have to have, like, at least a cognizant idea of satire and thinking and roundabout takes to get that I'm funnier than the average person. I know. Wait, is it too clever for you, Bob? Is it too subtle for you? Is it too much of a gradual change? Do you need like, I don't know, maybe an ABC sitcom laugh track at the back of every joke? This man's watching the Big Bang Theory and applauding it for being revolutionary TV into the seedy underground of the nerdy subculture that his kids seem to gloss the surface over. But the fact that my videos deliver deadpan makes him think he's suffering cardiac arrest. Terrible script! Cynthia, if you're too dumb to follow along and learn how bread is made, I don't know what to tell you. Everyone knows that my videos are 100% factually accurate. You can confirm this by the comments. Could do without the stupid commentary. That's the same thing Orna hears whenever she tries to talk to her husband. We really are losing our morals. It might seem like a harmless joke, but everything has already become per <laughs> perverted and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this one. Did you think the video was real? But he says it's a harmless joke. But it's I've perverted and corrupted it. This man, if, if Anthony thinks that this is me perverting something, don't ever check my Twitter, especially not my guide on Elden Ring. Interesting video, but commentary sucked. More dad jokes than anyone deserves to hear. Lindsay, I don't think, and I quote, these hot dog rolls are being spanked. It's not that they were naughty, they just paid extra for this, is a dad joke. Then again, I don't know your dad. Do you need to talk to someone? I'm gonna be looking forward to more comments as they roll in, and I hope CNN never notices this. I hope it stays this way forever. Don't snitch. You out there, don't snitch. Even though I posted it to my Twitter, and my YouTube community tab, and a bunch of Discord servers I'm in, I don't care. Don't snitch. Keep this going forever. Eventually, maybe your stupid parents will find it and believe it's true. And then we can laugh at them together.